Hey everybody, this is uh, Comblast. Um, I want to do a quick uh, Bible study um, because, um, like I said, this is why, why I'm making these videos. They're not for myself, they're for the Lord, our Lord, Jesus Christ. Um, and I think it's very important to, um, go, to go through some of these passages just, you know, to, uh, to see if we, we know all can uh, understand what they're trying to tell us here. Um, I think I've got a good grasp on, you know, a lot of these passages myself, but, um, you know, I'm not going to admit that I totally do, but, you know, I, I think i got a good grasp on some of them. Um, here's one that I came across today. Like I said, I, um, I, I like to pray in the morning, and then I, um, and I ask, um, for if he has any guidance for me for the day, um, and then I usually come to a passage, and this is the one I came to today. It is Corinthians chapter 1, and the one I want you to, the one to notice is, is the one 9 to 16. Okay, and here's what it says. But as it is written, um, I have not seen, nor heard, neither have entered into heart of men, the things which God hath prepared for them that loved me, him. So, this whole passage is about how um, whoever has the eye to see it um, will know what he's trying to tell you here. Um, so we go to the next one. But God hath revealed them unto us by his Spirit. For the Spirit searcheth all things. Yea, the deep things of God, so that, you know, if you are, um, in his spirit, you're going to search for these kinds of things, and, and you're going to want to reveal them to people, oh, um, in any way you can, um, okay, and now we get to the next one, for what man knoweth the things of man, save the spirit of which, of, of man which is in him, even so the things of God knoweth no man, but the spirit of but the spirit of God. Um, this is telling you right here. Um, for man, no man knoweth the, the things of uh, man. Nobody knows everything. That's what he's telling you. Um, you know, even um, even um, even in these spiritual realms don't know everything. Only one who knows anything is God. Okay. Um, Okay, now we get to the next one. Now we have received, not the spirit of the world, but the spirit which is of God. Now you are ready, if you understand this first part up here, now you are ready to to be in the spirit of God and, 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 and have some kind of understanding. That we might know the things that are freely given to us of God. You're going to know freely what... Um, I promise you when um you come when you come to him more and more <clears throat> which things also we speak not in the words which man's wisdom teacheth but which the holy ghost teacheth comparing spiritual things with spiritual so right there uh, is telling you that not the words which man's wisdom teacheth but which the Holy Ghost teacheth. So you are, if you really are um, coming to seek him, the Holy Ghost will come to you and he will teach you. But the, 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 um, the natural man receiveth not the things of the Spirit of God, for they are foolishness unto him. Neither can he know them, because the spiritually, they are spiritually discerned. That means that um, there's the people that are out and about um, who don't come to God, they think it's foolishness, all this stuff we're talking about here, that, um, you know, um, they're spiritually discerned. But he that is spiritual judgeth all things, yet he himself is judged of no man. For who have known the mind of the Lord, that he may instruct him. 
but we have the mind of Christ. Um, that is just... Like I said, I, I, um, I, I'm, I'm not joking with this. I really do flip through, and um, that's what I land on, and that's what I land on today. Um, right here is an interesting part, too. The eye. The eye have not seen. So, right in the beginning of this passage, he's telling you that your eye, which is, I believe, the pineal gland. Um, let me show you that real quick, the pineal gland. Okay, this is what the pineal gland is. Um, it is in your brain. Um, it is right here. And um, this, I believe, is what they're talking about in that passage, the eye. Um, I'm going to show you another picture real quick. Um, a real interesting picture um, that they've showed on the internet um, in other videos. Um, so let me show you real quick. Hold on a sec here. Okay, this is the eye of Horus. Notice how where the pineal gland is. That's the eye right here, Horus. And notice this is the pineal gland. This is what it actually looks like um, in your brain. This is this is amazing stuff, people. Um, really. Um, look at this pine cones. This pine cone is actually representing the pineal gland. Um, they've, they have this everywhere, people, these pine cones. They are telling you, telling you what you should be focusing on is trying to get with Jesus Christ and then be one with him. That's really what I think it's all about is being one with him. See, look, I mean, these amazing pictures, you know, um, you can check it out for yourself on the internet, um. The Grox actually talks about this, how, um, how, um, actually, you know, we, that, 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 you know, they're trying to demonize kind of e Egypt at the same time, but at the same time, um, really, um, that's where the temple of God is. It's, the temple of God is, um, is the, um, he thinks, um, the um, Great Pyramid of Giza, um, like that, the Great Pyramid, Great Pyramid of Giza. See, look, they even put <laughs> the pineal gland right here, you know. Um, and you got the Seven Sisters right up here. See, look, going right up. So, real quick video I want to do. Uh, my next one's going to be kind of a um, funny one. Okay, have a good one, people.